Hello guys, it's Noah's Little One here and um, as you can see, I'm going to make a tutorial on drawing the female head and kind of the body um, while doing that, but we're focusing on the head right now. Um, I will be doing some more tutorials later on when it comes to drawing and I just figured that I should do some tutorials, so why not start with the female head. Um, the male head and female head female head will come soon so let's get started so I'm gonna start with my Christmas color color erase um, blue pencil you can use any pencil you want um, I'm just using my color pencil blue erase because um, I just feel like it's kind of fun I just like the blue so anyways like always I start with a circle it doesn't have to be a perfect circle like always guys um, as you can see I'm just drawing a circle right here and then this is um the center guideline. I start with the center guideline. Um, I don't know um how tall I want her chin, but um you'll see soon. Um, the picture I'm trying to copy or try to make is um at least uh this picture, which you can give me a second. Maybe this picture right here. So yeah, I'm gonna focus on making this picture. So I'm gonna make the um eye line. Um, like this. This is the eye line. I'm indicating the eye line. Um, next is going to be the jaw. I'm drawing the female jaw. Make sure that you are very smooth with the female jaw because um, females are very smooth. They're feminine and stuff like that. Um, and I always put the ear under the eye line. And just so, just in case. You should also make a nose line. If you're new to drawing, you can also make a nose line, but I don't usually make nose lines because um, they're out of the category. But yeah, I use, but yeah, this is the nose line. I make sure the ear is in between the nose line and the mouth line. So yeah, um, anyways, I draw little circles indicating where I'm going to draw the eyes. And then, give me a second, guys. And I'm back and this first tutorial looks like it's gonna be garbage because there was someone's phone ringing and I should have done it somewhere else and I'm in an, a huge echo so anyways right, let's just get started I'm going to I think I made this jawline a little too big so yeah just make sure you um are very soft and rough just make it rough don't don't try to make your lines like this dark because then it will be hard to erase as you can see try to make it very light this is what I'm trying to do right now. Just try to make it very light when you're, um, when you're at least roughing out the drawing. Uh, so yeah, trying to um, get this pose set out. This is the neck. Make sure the neck is not too long, and make sure the neck is not too wide. You want you need to make it like at least perfect for the female. Because um, females' necks are usually not that wide, and um, if you make it wide, it'll look like um, it's more masculine, and you don't want to have that. So yeah, um, I'm drawing the collar for the neck because um, that's where I'm going to stop, something like that. And then I draw the shoulder. I'm going to draw the shoulders next. Um, these circles represent the shoulders, as you can see right here. These are the shoulders I'm going to do, and... Um, I'm going to make it like this. I'm going to make sure her um her eyes are like this. Um going to make her um shoulders like a little downward. Um and uh as you can see this is the line indicating where her body is facing. I'm going to put her maybe a little circle right here. Um because that's her torso area. And yeah, um, and a uh, circle right here. Um, just one of And then next, I'm going to add um a hairstyle. Now you can add any hairstyle that you want. Um, I just choose to add an afro because um, yeah. So I'm trying my own afro, my own um type of way. Like um, like I just feel like I'm drawing an afro because afros are cool. I mean, I've been obsessed with afros. Plus, I'm trying to make a character. That has an afro soon. But yeah, uh, anyways, let's just go with it. So I guess she's gonna be black. Because she's, um, 
Yes, an afro. I don't. I've never seen a woman, a white woman that's like you know, um, who has an afro unless it's a weave. But I mean, like a natural hair growth. I don't think I have seen a woman with that unless it's like a wig or a weave or whatever. Um, hmm. Okay, now that I got these done and sat down, let me, uh, first, let me get my needed eraser. I just needed to look for it because, um, it fell on the ground, I just noticed. Um, and then just, um, needed a little, uh, yeah, so... Usually I draw faster than this, but this is a tutorial, so I have to go slow for you guys so you guys can understand the process of me drawing. Sorry if the camera angle is not that good. Um, I might get a better camera for um, this, but I'm using a Surface Pro. So yeah, cut me some slack, guys. So yeah, I'm trying to make this pose. Let's see how this would work out. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to draw the breast area. Breasts are basically... um. Just circles, huge circles. Shut up! Come on, guys, gotta be more mature. I can feel that. I can feel like this. Like these people are gonna be a lot more immature. So, yeah, here comes the immature comments about the boobs and stuff. I think I made the breast a little too large. I'm not trying to make it large, but <laughs> breasts do come in different shapes and different sizes. So, um, hmm, yeah, uh, that's very big. That's what she said. Hey, I just hosted myself. And um yeah. Um next I'm next what I'm going to do is lightly erase it by just rolling on it. Oops, I moved the camera a little. Um I'm so glad I did a fall. Let me just be um a little careful with it. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna erase it lightly. Very lightly. So I can see everything. I mean, you guys might barely see it, but yeah. Um. Anyways, now we can add the details. Now these. Um. Now you can apply your own style to this, but I usually use my own style. So, um. Yeah. This is how I draw the eye. It's almost like an almond shape. If you, if that's the shape that you might want to think about. Uh, uh, hiccups. Uh. Yeah. But um, they're almost like an almond shape. And, um, oh my gosh, I'm having a lot of hiccups. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so, um, what I'm trying to say is, like, it's almost like an almond shape, but, um, I'm not trying to draw the eye completely. Like, this, there's, like, this little space here. Um, I just do that because it makes the eye look very nice. People love the eyes. People say, people compliment me about the eyes, saying that, oh my gosh, the eyes look so good. So, I am so glad that I get this positive feedback from people. Shout out to everyone that I'm giving positive feedback about my artwork. Um, yeah, so, make sure you keep the distance from the eye and the right eye, like, at least one eye apart. Like, as you can see, just one eye apart. Because in, in between them, it's at least one eye apart. Um, be sure you study, um, Da Vinci's, um something i forgot um like be sure you study proportion so you know so if you um get the proportions right the drawing looks right so um yeah make sure you do that because if you want to get the proportions right you just study proportions like um the um the height of an average human being an adult is actually like eight heads tall yeah eight heads tall um so yeah um this is the eyes and I'm going to draw the nose, starting from here. And I don't want to go, um, what do you call it, under the nose line, as you can see right here. And you guys can still see it, but uh, I don't want to go under the nose line. And then I do the mouth and the lips. I might make a lip tutorial, but I usually do the lip tutorial, the lips without uh, much of the basic shapes. Um, I just usually start out um, doing this and make sure that I do this.
and uh, I don't want to make it go above the nose line, but it's going a little above the nose line because I barely use the nose line um, for my uh, what do you call it uh, for my drawings because um, I usually draw the nose by myself. I mean, there are some things that you can do and some things that you don't that are not really necessary to do when drawing. Um, basic shapes, yeah. Um, it don't. It doesn't have to be necessary, but if you want the drawing to be easy for you, well, then yeah, do whatever you want. It's your own drawing. Have fun with it. Um, I just I just recommend that basic shapes is what you should do because it makes your drawing look good. It helps you get the proportions right. Helps you understand how the proportions work. And helps you understand how the um, body works too when you learn basic shapes. So yeah, um, that's how I learn how to draw just by basic shapes. So as you can see, there's that little S curve, <coughs> little S curve right here. Um, stop right here. I might want to give her like a um, I want to give her like that kind of um exciting look. Like I want to like I want to give her like. I might want to give it this kind of look. Uh, does that look good? Hmm. Yeah, I guess that will look good if I um, make the teeth a little longer. I mean, remember this is your own drawing. You can do whatever you want. Feel free to like go back and adjust some things. Oops, I think I made a mistake. It's okay. Happy little accidents. Um. Hmm. Okay, let me see. And um, I usually go right here and gain the shine. No, I'm gonna keep it with the um with the lips being like closed because I like it. I'm not feeling the um teeth right now for her. Africa. And her lips, I've darkened it in too much. You want to make sure this is good. All right, all right, all right. So, um, as you can see, I'm trying to like get this uh, right and proportioned. It's just very hard to draw when there's a camera in your face um, and you're trying to look over the camera. So, um, if you guys want to like, you know, record your own videos of your drawing traditionally. Be sure you get a camera stand because trust me, what I'm doing right now it seems so freaking. It's like a little uncomfortable for me right now. Uh, so I'm just gonna draw the irises, the pupil irises. Yeah, I'm gonna draw right here. I'm gonna draw right here. I'm gonna draw. Right here, okay, now I'm gonna draw the shine first because I like drawing the shine and what I like drawing next to it is a pupil Then I draw the shine right here Then draw the shine right here and here and um, I just shade it in the eye like, like just like that just don't shade it in the shine So I want to indicate like where the eye is shining and stuff like that so yeah, I uh, got that set. I'm just gonna keep on doing it, and that's the clock. Um, it should be seven o'clock at my time. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to speed up this process of me drawing, and um, yeah, here I go. So I'm back. Um, as you can see, I'm going to be doing. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to draw the bar line right here. Yes, I drew a bar because um, yeah, I'm making a sex like So please don't judge me. Don't judge me, please. I want to draw who I want to draw. I'm not trying to do anything sexual or anything. 
I just feel like drawing this, like this pose, at least. Hmm. But then again, I could do some adjustments, but I choose not to. But yeah, I am yeah, going to stick with this. Um, so, I got this set down. Now I'm going to do the final phase. And um, that's going to be uh, drawing, uh, um, just doing the shadow. So, seems like the, in the light source is being um, hit from over there. Um, I really don't know how to explain it. Like, maybe above. So, yeah, this is how I'm going to shade seeing her um, face um, like that yeah just like that um, um, let's see I'm going to um, make sure her face is um, I'm going to uh, there's um, the neck that's overlapping the head is the chin overlapping the neck so it's creating that shadow too um, try, make sure that you add shadows if you want to make your um, drawings pop out it's it's not bad to add shadow, shadows because um um it's actually pretty good it makes the drawing look a lot better and not only that but don't just apply shadows anywhere because um basically there's a light source um and that light source depending on where it is um it could be from over here over here over here anywhere so um you want to learn how or where shadows um fall look at real pictures of people in those light sources then you'll understand where they come from and where they head on to people and stuff like that so i'm going to add a little shading to the eye um maybe this could be incorrect um and then again this look like this looks like it's incorrect and i feel like the mouth and the nose is um a little too long for me so i'm going to change that a little and make the nose a little higher and um make the mouth hmm and then make the mouth like this i feel like i should like um do a basic mouth just like a girl smiling like this see that's not bad but then again i still like to add lips so let's see how this would work you see it's always good to experiment see which one would work oh i don't think i like this one yeah i don't like this one at all so uh i had to make a lot of adjustments but this is only worth doubt uh i will make some adjustments to this um mouth but be sure that you lightly sketch it and like me i choose i chose not to lightly sketch it because i forgot and i'm very very forgetful so um let's see if i can try this again it's gonna um try okay here we go here we go i think this eyebrow is too like thick then i don't know i forgot the meanings of those words again Um, let's see. Ah, and the expression seems to be popping out a little. Ah, nope, 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 no. Nope. <laughs> uh, you see, guys, uh, I wish I don't really do tutorials, but I'm but I want to like do more tutorials because, um, I think that that'll help so yeah so there you have it a black female hey i'm drawing a black female um so yeah i think i made her lips a little too big for her so anyways guys uh thanks for watching this video this failed attempt and making a tutorial i'm gonna make more more failed tutorials now i know they're not gonna fail but hey i like to teach i would like to teach you guys how i draw my characters if you guys think that it's really unique and stuff
people like it. My friend, my I inspire people, and I draw. They're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna draw like you. And so why not? I make some tutorials on like how I draw. But people won't really understand. Like you won't really be me. You will never draw like me. But you can draw like yourself, and you can like become really good at drawing. Just be dedicated to what you like to do and draw. So anyways, guys, um, I'm the Rose of One, and here's your female, um, drawing, as you can see. So anyways, uh, anyways, uh, I guess that's it, so, uh, I'll see you later, and this is what it looks like, yay, and goodbye.